Here is the summary of this video. What is the issue? Lorentz transformations are the foundation for relativity theory calculations, such as the gamma factor, kinetic energy, and the addition of relativistic velocities. If the derivation of the Lorentz transformation was false, the theory of relativity would collapse. In this fifth video, we will critically examine some unintended consequences of the Lorentz transformations. Previously, in the previous videos, we saw that these were specific reference frame S and S' prime where the origins of place and time coincide. In addition, the demonstration only concerns a light wave emitted at O and O' prime at the instant T equals T' prime equals zero. In the usual demonstrations, Y' prime is equal to I, there is a link between X' prime and X, V' prime equals minus V, and all these equations should be linear. During our analyses, we were unable to establish these assertions. Derivations The Lorenz transformation transforms between two different reference frames when one is moving with a constant velocity with respect to the other. It differs from the Galilean transformation in that it takes special relativity into account. Historically, these transformations were formulated, but not derivated by Lorentz before the theory of relativity. But in practice, relativistic calculations are effectively based and therefore come after the Lorentz transformations. What can be the consequences of these Lorentz transformations? Criticism. Let's remind what a reductio ad absurdum, or an absurd reasoning, is. I make an assumption. If I arrive at an absurd result, it means that my assumption is false. For example, I assume that b times 0 equals 1. Then I arrive at the result 2 equals 1. So my assumption that b times 0 equals 1 is false. Let's go back to our reference frames s and s prime. The yellow observer is in the reference frame s. He takes a photo. He obtains the distance x of the origin O' prime and the distance x from the photon p at the instant t. The red observer is in the reference frame S prime. He takes a photo. He obtains the distance x prime of the origin O and the distance x prime from the photon p at the instant t prime. The observer O will then calculate the speed V of O prime by relating the distance x to the duration t. He can then use the Lorentz transformations. He then obtains that the speed V must be equal to zero. It's absurd. So the Lorentz transformation assumption is wrong. Let's continue the calculation over time and length. The yellow observer is in the reference frame S. He takes a photo. He obtains the distance x of the origin O' prime and the distance x from the photon P at the instant T. The red observer is in the reference frame S prime. He takes a photo. He obtains the distance x prime of the origin O and the distance x prime from the photon P at the instant T prime. You can watch this video in slow motion and check the calculations for yourself. He obtains three different times for t prime. It's absurd. So the Lorentz transformations are false. And on the distances, if they are correct in the blue reference frame s, they are incorrect in the red reference frame s prime. The light wave is no longer centered in O prime. Lorentz transformations give absurd results. Lorentz transformation derivation is mathematically wrong then the theory of relativity would be false. Results. Lorentz transformations give absurd results. How the proponents of the theory of relativity explain it. They say that if we took a photo in the S coordinate system, and that we took a photo in the S prime coordinate system, the T prime are still different, as if the camera was making a blurred picture. This is what they call the relativity of simultaneity. This is a kind of Joker card that is stronger than all the other cards, than all the other arguments, than all the derivations. Galileo wanted circular orbits. To remain consistent he needed to add epicycles. Kepler found on another solution with the ellipses, there was no longer any need for epicycles. Einstein wanted to use the Lorentz transformations. 
to remain coherent, it needed the relativity of simultaneity. By using a constant time, there is no longer any need for the relativity of simultaneity. You can read more about Neo-Newtonian mechanics in the link at the end of the video. And you, do you still think that Lorentz transformations derivations are valid?